Hello, this is Tony of Tony's Music and the Administrator of Dooley and Turley PNGs. I'm going to start you off with Affinity Designer. I'm going to show you how the Export Persona works. And to do that, we're going to start off uh, by designing a flower using a new document, uh, A4 and Portrait, and create that. And if you go over to the variable um, shapes, which is the fourth one down with the little triangle on, you'll find the cloud tool um, in there somewhere. Right, I've already got it on, so I'll just do that now. Right, like that. And you can make it a bit bigger if you wish. Like that. Right, so I'm going to change the colour to red for the first one. And I'm going to copy and paste it. And then I'm going to reduce the size of the, the copied one. And put that in the middle of there and change that colour to a different colour. Right, purple maybe. And then copy that and paste again. And then reduce. And change that to a different colour again. So maybe pink. Yeah. Now copy that, paste it, reduce it. And we get some nice colours there coming. That one. Now copy, paste. That's that one. Change that to dark green colour. Oops, that's a bit too dark. There you go. And then the next one is going to be the last one, which is going to be the darker colour. Copy and paste. And do really small on that one. And that one's going to be like a dark blue green purple colour. Yeah, about there somewhere. And that's it, right? Now we've got, got the flower created. I'm going to select it all by doing that. You could go up here and select all this way. And then you go onto Alignment. And click Align Center Horizontally, Align Center Vertically. Okay, and then apply that to make sure it works. So that's all okay, right? Now you've done that, we can go to Export Persona. Right, so now it put persona. I'll check the layers because they're not usually selected straight away, so I'll need to do that. Okay, now I've selected that. I'm going to go back onto slices, click batch builder, make sure it's on JSON stub, then export preset is going to be single PNG. Right, so now if you get to slice one. Which is the first one there, like that, and we go there. It says PNG there, slice one. You can have a look up here, it gives you the information there if you need it. What you might need, so if you want to include bleed or whatever, uh, you can do that there, right? Then, if you want to, you can add another slice uh, PNG which is double the size by clicking this plus sign here, and that's double the size there. You can have one one size and one double the size there. Um, if you want to, I'm going to click that off so I don't want it. But this other plus sign here, that gives you the option to use a different file format. So you can do JPEG best quality. And then you can do another one, um, which is a GIF. And you can go down, do another one, which is going to be something like an SVG maybe, for example. Then you can do another one, which is going to be a PDF or a PSD. Or a PSD, right? So you've got all those different shapes, different file types there. I'm just going to make sure we all that selected. And now I've done that, I want to copy the export format to a clipboard I've done that for a reason because once you've done that you need to click on the slices there the slice 2 to 
the last stories because we've done stories from we haven't done the others right here yeah, we've clicked all them now hopefully once i've clicked this on here which is report replace export setup from clipboard so it should replace those with all that what's on that one so hopefully that should be okay now why not have to do it again like that there you go that shows you how it does it and it'll do it for all of them as you can see i'll show you so because i selected all of them it'll do it for all of them save me a lot of bother that has right so there you go and then what you can do is export the seven slices and then we find let's find um let's put a different um folder on we click a new folder right and then click in there and then export to that folder right so it should export all them very quickly and that you got about something like how many seven slices times how many different files five that's 35 35 different images should be hopefully so we're going to check that now shall we so it's on new folder let's try and find the new folder we can there's a new folder i found it and as you can see there's oh 31 so i'm missing something yeah right so you got four you got five there five ten fifteen twenty 25 30 oh oh we had six slices that's why and that was counted as a slice for it that's why we got about that the background was one that i added the amount to that that's why i got it mixed up but uh that's how it works anyway uh so i hope you found it useful and i hope it's useful to you for whatever you want to do please uh like and subscribe to tony's music if you enjoyed this video and hope you stay safe and have a good day. Thank you.